So here's why you don't go hop in the car you just bought and rip on down the track. Uh, let's see. What? So why why is that? What? Oh, I like I like coffee, but I don't want it on my air filter here. Um, uh, and what? That that's that is that roofing tar? Uh, okay. First of all, I'm not running any air filter at the strip whatsoever on this thing, so. If anybody wants this, let me know. Uh, I'll have a silent auction. But no, that's not going on the uh, the Terminator. I'm not going to trust that. Uh, carbs a little bit on the dirty side. Not uh, not good. I, I'm yeah. We're pulling that off and cleaning that. That's yuck. That's a bag of yuck. We found some stuff that's not so cool with this car that we're going to redo. Going to fix stuff up. So. Little turd here's got to go. There's no baffle in it. There's, it's bad. And this, I think you got a bigger filter on your lawnmower. So that's going. We're going to replace all the lines all the way up. New tank. Definitely going to do a whole bunch of different stuff here to uh, get this thing ready to roll. Let's do some shopping for that new fuel system we need here. Uh, we've already, I've worked with my mentor, Brian and uh, he helped me put together this list. I want to see if you guys agree with it. So we're looking at the uh, the 10 gallon aluminum fuel cell. It has uh, the vent and return on the top and then your fuel ports on the bottom. And we got some hose, some fittings, a fuel pump mount, rebuild kit for a pressure regulator. Brian actually has an extra one that he is going to uh, sell me at a, a beer cheap price. And then we got some, uh, let's see, steel braided hoses, the Quickstar 300 fuel pump. I believe that goes up to 750, 800 horse, something like that. I don't think it's going to be more than what we're pushing, uh, but I'll tell you right now, if I ever want to do nitrous or something like that, I wanted to go with this one. So we have a little more, a little more flexibility with the, with the fuel system. And let's see here. I don't know how many PSI the current system is putting out. There's no gauge or anything, which. Uh, at this point, uh, seeing how it's all routed and, and what it is, I'm just going to change it out. So we're doing, uh, yep, AN fittings all the way through. Uh, let's see here. We got the, the site plugs for the carburetor, which the carburetor is a 1,000 CFM Holly uh, Dominator. So just in case you guys were wondering. And then I added a dust cover for the carburetor because I'm not going to be running that awesome air filter that was made. But let's take a look here at our price. We are looking at 1,157.67. So it's gonna take me a minute here to uh, recoup from purchasing the car and uh, gain some cash here to be able to purchase this system and redo it. But that's this is the plan. I wanna kinda of lay out where we're going with it and give you guys open information on exactly what we're doing, what we're spending, the products that we're buying. We're gonna make sure we put the right stuff in here not gonna play around and, and go cheap and then have to replace it later. So as soon as I get the money, those parts are on the way. I gotta pull these tires off and change the tubes. Luckily the guy was nice enough to throw the correct tubes in it. But right now, if you look here, it's got, there's nothing here holding the stem. And if you're gonna run it in the 10 second class, you have to have a nut that goes on the stem that holds it to the rim. And then if you see, this is where there should be feed locks. So we're going to have to put those back in, but I have to pull both these tires off and change out the tubes. Luckily, Brian from Project Nitrous happens to have uh, stuff to change out the tires and, and throw some tubes in. So he's going to help us with the project. So I got the tires back. They had one tube. This tube was in that tire. There was no tube in the other side. And all they had was a valve stem. So there's a chance if I would have taken this to the track and hammered on it, that tire could have just went pop or flown off or ripped the valve stem. I mean, just bad all around. So my patience literally could have saved this car from smashing into the wall. So I'm very glad that I took Projet Nitrous, Brian's advice, and am going through this step by step to make sure stuff is right. As you can see now, we have the right valve stem. This is what I was talking about with the nut on here to keep this valve stem in place and where it should be. This is the old one. That's just, yeah, that's not gonna be good for a 10 second car. 
So I'm gonna keep going through this thing. And after seeing this, I'm gonna dig deeper in here because I am not gonna take this thing out and you know have something go wrong or suck a bunch of the foam that probably rotted out from sitting in Arizona sun that's inside that tank into the motor and blow that up. So I'm gonna replace the tank. I'm gonna replace the fuel system. I'm not playing around. We're gonna do this right. And then we're gonna go rip this mother. I'm gonna go drink some damn beer. Y'all have a good one. Thank you.